What's up, y'all? Your boy Shado in the building, and I want to welcome you to another edition of Is It Real? The show. Before you go, you come at Shado. That's right. I'm never going to steer you wrong. Yeah, you guys, tonight's feature film is the new Mission Impossible, The Fallout. Yes. Since the last one that came out, which was Rogue Nation in 2015, and the one Ghost Protocol just before that was about 2011. They've been cranking them out about every three or four years. And given the elaborate stunts that these movies have, I can't blame them. This movie definitely exceeded all expectations. <laughs> Tom Cruise knocked it out of the park once again. This movie was straight up phenomenal. The action and the action sequence in this alone is just bananas. And the fact that they really live up to the name Mission Impossible by pulling off the most impossible situations and stunts in this movie. It's crazy, you guys. You you're gonna love this movie. This movie is this movie is nuts. It's literally a thrill ride. I mean, like seriously, you you're on the edge of your seat, man. You're like, oh my god, I can't believe. And kudos to Tom Cruise for doing his own stunts the way he does them. I mean, like, man, because it when you watch a movie and an actor really does all their own stunts, it pays dividends. I mean, cause you don't gotta cut, you know, or anything like that or do something tricky or edit or the CGI. I mean, like the camera can stay on them at all times. That way you can see and you can feel them in the fight or in the flight or whatever it may be. And this movie definitely showed that. And so kudos to him doing all that, man. It's, this movie is crazy. I can't say enough. Uh, Simon Pegg, once again, killed it, played the character Benji. Vin Rames is Luther, killed it. I mean, like, this, these guys even knocked, knocked that apart. And, oh, I gotta give big props up to Angela Bassett. Man, talk about grit. <laughs> Love her in this movie. This is, this is a good fit for her. And I'll uh, give it up to, you know, the guy that plays Superman, Henry Calvin. He's in this movie as well, too. And I'll see why he kept the mustache. Hmm. If you didn't want to know what I'm talking about, it's because when he did Justice League, um, he had a contract that, you know, he's got to look Superman, but he didn't want to shave his mustache because at the time he was filming the Mission Impossible movie, so he never shaved his mustache. And you see why in the movie. Anyway, it's going to look good, you guys. A little, little trivia, a little fun fact for you if you didn't know. Anyway, the storyline and the plot to this movie is, is great, you guys. I mean, like, you'll figure it out. But it's the way they go about it. And of course, the trickery and like they fooling the audience and everything like that is so good, man. It's just well played and brilliantly done. And they keep stepping up the stepping up the game and raising the bar like every time they film these movies, which is nuts. And kudos to any of the stuntmen that were for any of the actors. Cause man, I'm telling you, the stunts in this movie was crazy, man. You guys are gonna lose it. This movie is good. Um the Rogue Nation was phenomenal this movie i put it right there if not if it, it i think it may even exceed it i mean this movie is bananas so you you want to know a little fun fact <laughs> check it out the film had three thousand setups 13 helicopters six pregnancies 500 and in this city no no five hi hiatus excuse me four weeks of aerial photography photography excuse me um three continents two winners and one broken ankle hmm i wonder whose ankle that was <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get this movie extra sharp this movie was crazy it was that good yeah you will enjoy this movie this movie is that good phenomenal all across the board you will love it now let's go ahead and keep it moving and get into some oldies but goldies. And tonight's oldie but goldie is Willow. Yes, you guys. The old school classic right here with Val Kilmer. You know what I'm saying? Dungeons and Dragons and the whole nine and wizardry. <sighs> yeah, childhood movie growing up with this. I hope you guys take a look at this if you've never seen it before and check it out because this movie is good, fantastic movie. Like Val Kilmer killed in this movie. So yes. And my second movie I'm going to tell you to watch, Chain Reaction, Morgan Freeman and Keanu Reeves. Yeah, Chicago student trying to figure out how to create energy for the world and make it a free resource. Problem is, the world don't want that to happen, so <laughs> you got to watch the movie to find out 
how and what he goes through to try to get this whole thing solved and done. Anyway, man, it's a cool movie. You're going to love it. It's shot right in the heart of Chicago, so you'll dig that too. Anyway, you guys, I thank you for tuning in to another edition of Is It Real? The show before you go, you ask Shado. And continue to like, subscribe, and follow me on all my uh, sites and social media outlets. Thank you. Keep continuing to spread the word. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for making this show a success. Let's keep it going. And hit me up on all the social media things there. And until next time, I will see you guys at the movies. So peace. <laughs>